uh, friends uh, in this session uh, we will discuss another one more options how to uh, if the surface is inclined to hp how it can be drawn we can discuss in this problem you can read the question a regular pentagonal lamina of 30 mm side has one edge in hp and inclined at 30 degree to vp draw its projection when its surface is inclined at 45 degree to hp so now the scenario has been changed compared to previous problem first problem one edge in hp you imagine the surface is lying on hp such that one edge is in hp okay so if the surface is on hp which view can be clearly seen surface is on hp means top view can be clearly seen from the top view you can clearly see all the corners of the surface but from the front view you may see only the three corners of the surface okay and from the question itself how we can identify which view will give me all the corners visibility so here where is surface inclination surface is inclined at 45 degree to hp surface is inclined at 45 degree to hp in the hp horizontal plane which we will be projected as per first angle projection so as per first angle projection top view is projected on the top view is projected on the horizontal plane so top view will give us full visibility of the surface okay all corners can be seen in the top view so with this we can proceed so xy and below xy because top view and here you have to ensure one thing one edge in hp okay one edge in hp and first for this you can imagine a line which is uh, lying on hp okay a line which is lying on hp i am just uh, saying that because of instead of surface you are just imagine this line alone we can make a name for this uh, 26 mm side sorry this 30 mm okay so friends uh, in today's session we will solve one more uh, pentagonal surface problem projection the regular pentagonal lamina of 30 mm side has one edge in hp and inclined at 30 degree to vp draw its projection when its surface is inclined at 45 degree to hp so it's clearly mentioned one edge in hp okay you imagine a surface is on hp then uh, which view can be give us clear uh, view of all the corners top you can be clearly seen but front view you can see only three corners this based on imagination of our uh, concept sir with the question itself how can we identify uh, which view will give us better position means read the surface inclination condition surface is inclined at 45 degree to hp in horizontal plane which view will be projected as per first angle projection top view will be projected on the horizontal plane so we can say top view can be uh, give us top view will give us full visibility of the surface with all corners okay with that you can draw x y and uh, now the position you have to ensure how to draw the what is the position of uh, this pentagon okay now the length is uh, 30 mm side a e a b c d e so before uh, proceeding this uh, pentagon i have to ensure the position of the pentagon imagine this a b side okay r a b edge which is parallel which is on hp now for we are assuming this a instead of this surface assuming a b is a line okay this a b which is lying on hp after rotation of 90 degree in clockwise direction what will happen to this a b it will be perpendicular to x y because we are rotating 90 degree so whenever Uh, you just imagine a line which is parallel to a uh, horizontal plane after rotation of 90 degree the same line will be perpendicular to xy okay perpendicular to that plane here the same condition after the rotation of 90 degree this is the edge ab is the edge which is on hp after rotation of 90 degree by clockwise direction this ab becomes perpendicular to xy reference line remaining all the procedures are same for completion of the pentagon surface now you can extend the projectors from top view from all the corners fix the front view 
here this is the front view sir how can we uh, mark the uh, corners where it is visible so for the front view always look it look it down from the bottom of this surface so from if you are an observer you are standing here means b c d is visible sir how you are saying observer is standing here imagine this surface is lying on hp this edge sorry this edge is lying on hp in that case this will be our front view b c d is our front view okay if ab is if you draw the ab surface ab edge on hp this b c d is visible for us so you can simply remember you have to draw the front view from the bottom of the surface b c d is visible a is invisible so a dash e dash should be in the bracket check it a dash e dash should be in the bracket now front view is completed out of this two inclination with respect to hp and vp which one we have to proceed is surface inclination we have to proceed in step number 3 okay so you can extend the uh, anywhere on x5 fix a point and draw a 45 degree inclination line without any specific length now i have to reproduce this uh, same uh, front view on this xy in, uh, sorry the 45 degree inclined line i have to fix uh, b dash a dash point because this ab is on hp this edge is on hp now so i have to fix this ab on xy after fixing this you can uh, complete reproduce the same front view by measuring the scale to check what is the measurement of this uh, front view and redraw the same here and also similarly you can identify the distance of uh, c dash e dash either you can use b dash a dash as center or d dash a as center identify the position of c dash e dash in the 45 degree inclination line now it is completed front view is completed with this i have to identify the surface inclination of 45 degree what is the size of pentagon okay from this you have to extend the projector from step number 3 front view and step 1 top view so i start from b dash a dash so from b dash a dash extend the projector similarly from b a you can extend the projector okay so b dash a dash now i can check it this is a a is meeting the projector at this point you can give name similarly as a1 okay and b from the uh, top view is extended and also a dash is extended both will meet at this point i can give it as b1 okay next step uh, ec can be extended e dash c dash can be extended similarly from here ec can be extended in the top view okay e c can be extended so c is meeting at this point it is c1 e is meeting at this uh, corner or point so it is simply say e1 okay what is the left out is d corner we extend the projector from d as well as from d dash both will meet at a point we can make it as d1 okay so this is d1 now we can join all this uh, corners a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 d1 e1 okay by joining all these corners by joining all these corners now our pentagon is completed in the top view with a surface inclination of 45 degree okay but what is the difference we notified is this is the uh, reduction in size okay you see there is a size has been reduced okay but we have to uh, make the surface as inclined at 30 degree to vp nothing but which edge as one edge in hp and the same edge should be inclined at 30 degree to vp which edge ab is the edge so i have to draw a1 b1 uh, inclined at 30 degree to vp so you can draw xy anywhere anywhere on the xy draw 30 degree inclination line okay from that uh, we can uh, reproduce this a1 b1 edge so for our convenience we are going to draw we are going to draw which one frame a rectangle by joining all the corners okay so by joining all the corners frame a rectangle and uh, named it as 1 2 3 4 okay 
now i have to keep this 1 to 2 side 1 to 2 side of a rectangle which is exactly on this 30 degree inclination line now you may have a doubt sir why you have taken this inclination from line from right to left why not we start from left to right okay if you draw from left to right this if you keep the surface a1 b1 on the incline line it may touches the it might touches the xy reference line it will give us confusion because of overlapping of front and top in that case so always take it from right to left it will give us a uh, better and better view okay so you can now uh, measure the length of uh, 1 to 2 reproduce the same on xy sorry 30 degree inclination line okay 1 to 2 now you can complete the rectangle 1 2 3 4 measure the length and complete the rectangle after measuring the length and the completion of rectangle what is the a1 b1 uh, distance from point 1 what is the distance of a1 b1 and from point 2 what is the distance of uh, b1 so with this uh, distance you can measure from this step 4 complete a1 b1 okay now our was whether we use uh, a1 as center sorry uh, 1 as center e1 as radius you can complete 1 to 4 in between i am having e1 and 2 as center c1 as radius complete c1 3 as center d1 as radius complete d1 in this step so you can simply draw an arc fix c1 and uh, 3 as center so 3 as center d1 as radius draw an arc okay and 4 as center e1 as radius draw an arc or you can say 1 as center e1 as radius so here is the point 1 1 as center e1 as radius draw an arc similarly all the corners are fixed a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 is fixed now you can join all these corners okay here ensure this all size which means whatever the size of step number 4 is replicated here reproduced in the step number 5 only the difference is we made this a1 b1 edge as inclined at 30 degree to bp okay with this inclination now we will proceed to identify the so position of surface of uh, pentagon with respect to hp in the top view sorry front view okay in front view you extend the projectors from a1 b1 and here uh, check it again in step number three a b is lying on x y that's why we have extended the projector only until it touches x y after that a1 b1 uh, a dash a1 dash b1 dash is fixed now we will start uh, b c uh, c d e similarly so from c1 you extend the projector here it is point c corner c you can extend the projector both will meet at one point so it is meeting at this point make it as c1 dash Okay, similarly you can extend the projector from uh, E1 because it also lies on the same uh, corner. You can check it here, same point. So you can extend the projector from E1. Okay, similarly D1. D1 if you extend uh, from the top view as well as from the front view, both will meet at one point, make it as D1 dash. And now similarly you can join this edges D1 dash, C1 dash and C1 dash, D1 dash. Now unknown is E1, okay, E1 corner, so you can extend the projectors from uh, E1, it touches the uh, E projector from front view. Now it can be marked as E1 dash, now join D1 dash, E1 dash, now A1 dash, E dash. This is the final position of pentagon with respect to in surface inclined at 45 degree to HP as well as one edge inclined at 30 degree to BP. And once again, uh, as per the first problem what we discussed, you have to ensure the position of pentagon as right and which view will give us complete uh, view of all the corners. So based on surface inclination also you can assume. Okay, surface inclination with respect to HP, top view is projected on horizontal plane. So top view will give us entire position, entire uh, corners can visibility. And uh, being the one edge in HP, after rotation of 90 degree, one edge should be parallel to perpendicular to xy. So this AB edge is perpendicular to xy. After fixing the identifying this uh, complete view and uh, position of the surface, 
you can proceed the problem all these play projection of plane surface in change of position method procedure is 